Hi folks, Stevie here. Uh, I've had a request to uh, use an item in one of my reviews that um, I purchased uh, for to help with building. And basically it's the uh, piston stand from Stevie Dilly Gaff Porter. Um, he's on Facebook. He does all various types now. And last tailing last year, doing a bit of, of what was the best kit I'd used through 2018, and and this was I think whether it's top of the list, it's it's very close to the top of the list. I can't remember, but it was a little bit light, and it, I used to because I have uh, diastonic tremors, it, I used to shove it around a little bit and it was trying to put the bloody coil in with the shakes anyway, um, and I just mentioned that briefly. And at the good of his bloody art, Stevie went and made a bigger one and put a load of lead weights on the inside, which I'll show you when we go down on the table. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be using this uh, to build on. And I thought, OK, if I'm going to do a build, I'm going to watch, watch RTA shall I use. And I haven't done the uh, EH Pro Billow X, so I'm going to use that that I bought oh, August sometime last year I think it was uh, which brings into play another device uh, for Simon Coily which is a fantastic bit of kit for building again I'm going to use this when we go down on the table um, so right okay guys so without further ado let's get down with you Buster <laughs> And through the mist appears Stevie Dilly Gaff Porter Piston Stand. Seriously guys, this was the uh, first one I received off Stevie. Uh, sort of November time I think it was last year. Um, as you can see on the inside it's just a piston. I won't say just a piston but uh, yeah a very nice piston. And um, on my uh, review for some of the tools I thought was uh, great for 2018, like uh, the piston stand, um, coily from Simon, I mentioned that uh, when I build, because I, I have uh, dystonic tremors, it, it, it sort of moves around quite a lot because it's a little bit light. So, Stevie being the gentleman he is, uh, sent me this, which is a lot larger. And as you can see, very clever, it's put lead weights uh, on the inside that make it three or four times heavier than than um, my other one. You can see the difference in size there. But what I've also done is we used to use this, it's like a rubber, uh, when I used to work in the motorcycle industry we used to sell little sheets of this that people used to put on their seats and especially the back seats where the, the women would sit and it just stops you slipping around so what I've done I've just cut a little bit out like that and hopefully this isn't going to shift anywhere so to use it I'm going to actually build on a EH Pro Billow X. I'm not going to go into too much detail on these guys because it's been around a while and no, no doubt you'll have seen uh, reviews of, of the Billow anyway. Uh, but basically it's 28, um, sorry, 25 millimeters around the base. It's 30 mil in the middle of this bubble glass and it's 38 mil not including the drip tip okay you can actually get these from nature vape at the moment for 26 pounds and i would say it's a very very worthy 26 pounds i like it it's one of my favoritest rtas um 810 drip tip if i just pull that out there 
as you can see it's got the uh, o-ring in the middle now I've actually got o-rings on on the strip tip but it does go in okay absolutely fine and dandy okay let's just have a strip down very large filling ports I, I like this especially when I'm sort of giving it this um, it's easier for me to to get the neck of the little bottle in there and splodge me juicing uh, big chimney actually there uh, yeah great flavor from this and then we come to the deck itself um, that is gold plated for electrical conductivity um, yeah it's a GTA style deck um, coil coil uh, cotton 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 so let's use Stevie's Stevie's piston now I've no idea how this is going to go guys so you'll have to sort of bear with me um, I do prefer this type of um, screw basically because once I've got that in there even though I'm shaking it doesn't really go anywhere um, hopefully you can see that actually if I sort of do it <laughs> that way because this is quite um, small post holes these actually um, yeah so the coils I'm going to put in it are some few staples uh, from uh, Wicked Wires UK um, I used the, they've got a Facebook page um, I don't know if it's any help if you say oh I saw uh, Wiki, uh, Wicked <laughs> Vaping Dragon, Stevie Platts use these on a review and, and I want to buy some, can you do me a discount? You just never know you're looking a raffle, do you? If you don't ask, you don't get. Okay, so, um, there we go. And I always keep these. I, d I don't throw these away because I, d I don't know why I've got a drawer full of them. Um, yeah, where's my um, thingy? What should we call it? Right. What I'm going to do is, I also uh, rate this off Simon, um, great, great bit of kit, obviously that's the length you, you want to cut your legs at, um, across there, now if you want to know how long you need to cut, cut uh, or quick shorten them, you just literally put that over the posts, so that's okay so that sits quite nice there on four mil all right so that's the length i'm going to cut my legs um on my coils so i'll just slide that there four mil so i'm going to drop that in there again this is this is a brilliant tool for me you know with having shakes can you imagine me trying to cut one and then cut another one the same length without this It'd be all over the bloody place. Well, it used to be until I got this. Where's that gone? There it is. Put that to one side. Where's the other one? Four mil. Drop that in there. Oops. Drop that in there. always make sure I put these to one side because I've got a couple of dogs that run around the house like demented wildebeests um, so right Simon I, I don't need this anymore well I do but not now okay let's push pull this back into the middle turn it to run that way okay so um, your coil goes there and there and then there and there or there and there there and there whichever way uh, it doesn't make a difference to be fair that goes in there 
I'm not going to over tighten it just yet. Turn it around. I've got so much better at this. Um, with, I suppose, using the tools that you can get. Um, I never ever thought I'd be able to build, to be fair. Um, because I shake so bad. I mean, it's not bad today, actually. It's. Oops. Okay, so straighten that up a bit and push it further. Oop, push it further over there like that. I'll nip that up now. Oh, let's pull it out again. If you feel quiet, it's only because I'm concentrating. I'm not a woman, I can't do several things at, uh, at a time. Right, actually, I've spaced them out a little bit, hasn't it? Let's push that over there. I'm trying to get it so the coils sit above the. Uh, The um, air holes, you know what I mean. Not air holes, air holes. Actually, that's not bad. Um, and I tell you what, this has not gone anywhere. This little, this little post. percent over that one is actually I think that's just touching that little tiny bit All you're doing is missing me fannying around. Okay. Yeah, I'll just uh, nip these up. That's okay. Study it with my thumb. moved again look all I need that for now. Um, this will come off the old stand which has been brilliant it's not even moved uh, without me moving it uh, deliberately so I'm, I'm really pleased with that Stevie. Thanks guys, thanks buddy. Okay with it being 25 mil it fits okay on the detonator. This is 27 mil Across, so this is this fits quite well. All right, the 0 0.20 at the moment. Nice and slow. Right. 
Where's my plastic? Oh, nice rainbow colour. Oh, it's 40, 46. Yeah, that's okay. Just let that cool down a minute. Um, yeah, the cotton I use, uh, which I've I've shown people before actually, is is Pilot. Um, I think they were coming a lot more available when I started. The first ones I saw, I think, were. Um, was it Geek Vape? Something like that. And I thought, oh, I fancy trying them. And then Pilot come along, and there's, there's loads of other ones now. Um, that's 3mm. These are 3mm. So I'll just put on the top of that. <clears throat> Still a little bit warm. Yeah, I'm going to be using some AVB custard. Um, it's from Darlington, actually, which is probably 10, 12 mile away from me, as the crow flies. Okay. So we will know. Just gonna turn that off just so I don't hit the fire button while I'm doing this. Um, and what I'll do, I'm just going to trim a bit off there because it is a little bit too long. Well, it's very long, really. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is just try and mark it there. I haven't got nails so. side always pays to have some really really good scissors rubbish rubbish okay bit of a fluff you gotta have a fluff you got to have a fluff 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 we go guys right I, I use this uh, pedicure I think that's what they call them you know for sort of doing under your fingernails and stuff um, I think it's just it's, I'll show you um, it's great for um, tucking in as I call it just dab a bit on there it helps me fold it better Uh, I should have a bit of music in the background, shouldn't I? What do you reckon? ACDC, a bit of Tamla, a bit of Northern Soul. Okay. 
one shot. Sure, why I might have cut this a little bit too short. I have. Oh, hang on. No, I haven't. Put a bit more. And there's some faffing around there. Eh? Okay. I can understand why people do that like fast forward music when they're doing this bit. Um, but I haven't learnt that bit yet, so I don't know how to do it yet. But when I do, please tell me your music of choice. <laughs> Get in there. Better. Okay. Sorry about the length of time, guys. I bet you sat there going, Phew, me. Fucking hurry up, will you? You're funny. Okay, just nice and gentle over the top there. I want to cross thread it. I'm going to take it off. Nice and steady. There we go. Right, see what I mean? On my, uh, with me shaking, I can quite easily now just stuff that in there and it doesn't go nowhere. So if any of you out there have got the same, I don't know if it's, I've, I've heard somebody say, oh it's a disease, fucking disease, if I fucking shake hands with you, you're not going to catch it here, that's a fucking disease. Okay, so, that's me, AVB Custard, in my Billow X, on top of my, um, detonator that I just recently did a review on if you're interested um, what I'll do we'll head back up top guys as you can see it's I love it oh can you see the bubbles where it's wicking love it yeah we'll head back up top and um, I'll have a toot on this in actual fact the review really was for Stevie's Dilly Gaff uh, Dilly gaff uh, stand. So, but yeah, a bit of AH Pro as well. See you up there, guys. So, guys, we're back up top with the Billow X, um, which I built using Stevie Dilly, uh, Dilly Gaff Porter's uh, piston stand. Got a bit of an AVB custard in there. Very nice, actually. Well, it would be because I'm using it to vape on or vape with, whichever way. So, yeah, that's great. 
So, thanks, Stevie. I appreciate that, mate. It's a great bit of kit. Um, and if you ever do a bigger one, <laughs> with even more weights in it, I could uh, review it for you. Um, yeah, so, going from that little one, which I still use, uh, to the big big one with the heavy weights in brilliant thanks i uh, pr really pre appreciate it stevie and again simon thanks for the coily man great bit of kit and i wish you all the best both of you all the best for 2019 cheers guys thanks for watching